to be your boy, that boy, 305. Check it in, y'all. Uh, thank God for another one, man. You know, um, coming with another video about Nipsey Hussle. You know what I'm saying? The BET Wars was last night. You know, I don't watch that type of stuff. Um, I just feel like his death is kind of like slightly in vain towards them because, you know, you're celebrating the life after someone has passed away that you could have gave him the award when he was alive. This man been doing this thing for many, many years. He was at the awards last year, so while he was nominated for the Humanitarian Award last year, which is like a couple years ago that John Legend received it. You understand what I'm saying? But now as he did, to keep the, I feel like to keep the, to keep the fans and the, you know, the people that love him, keep him calm, you want to give him an award. Give us flowers while we're here. That's what I'm on, but that's another story. Uh, Grandma had a beautiful speech last night. I didn't really watch the video, but I watched a little clips on YouTube. And um, her mama kind of, mama kind of kept it 100. Mama said it three times, or three or two times that Nipsey was assassinated. Say so he was at the crib on the 31st, like fixing up some things for his grandson, a granddaughter, a grandson, something like that. And she said that's a thing that they do when they like women do when they about you know like pregnant or something she was saying kind of lost a little bit of that but the whole concept she was saying that it was like in so many ways he was putting things up you know, like fixing things like she was saying that he was on his way out his spirit was leaving or something she was saying and later on he passed that same day oh uh, yeah that's kind of weird um then she said it was a lady in the alley with big breasts running down the alley kind of weird um, still skeptical about that. Why was she was running? Da da da. She said she told the lady let her out the spot. Calm down. This is my son. Da da da. You know things of that nature. And I'm kind of like you know trying to figure that out. But I'll be working on that. Um, so the whole concept is you know she was saying you know what I'm saying she said her son was assassinated three times. So I think the family is accepting the assassination that they know what time and what happened. Grandma had a beautiful speech. She said her son did everything, her grandson did everything, and his name is marked. And coincident that I heard one of his songs the other day said that you could kill me. One of the sayings said that you could kill me, but you you know my my people are gonna make you feel it. Them not the exact words, but them are similar to the words he was saying that you know like his word his name will live on. People will keep calling their name after his death. And yeah, so far so good that's what's going on and i think it's going to continue to go on because i've been on him like two months and some chain i'm still bumping his music i'm still great you know still greeting about the situation of what, what happened to nipsey and i just feel so bad for the family man shout out to you money man you know what i'm saying beautiful sister going through some things only have one parent left is her mama and everybody trying to turn her against her mother and i don't agree with that whatever her and nipsey had going on that's between them but i'm sure Nipsey was alive, he wouldn't want his daughter to be separated from his mother, from her mother. So we going on saying work on that as well. But I'm not gonna keep y'all alone. But uh I just felt like, you know, the award should have been given to him while he was alive. Don't give me flowers when I'm dead, give them to me while I'm alive. You understand what I'm saying? But we gonna do some more, you know what I'm saying, researching and some more investigating and get some more details bring it to the front work you know but Nipsey was had a beautiful spirit strong spirit I see where he get the wisdom from his grandma I know his mama is kind of more you know younger and she you know, her and pop had a little son on stage pop told us they do you you know it's everything everything you know marathon must continue you know he's not they don't speak that pretty you no know, no real good you know English like that you know he African but um she did say I separate and then she was like I represent African people that's how I knew he was assassinated man they want people to know that I'm gonna represent the African people no matter what you understand what I'm saying no matter what who who sit high and look at down on the situation she letting you know that she reps African people nothing wrong with that that's your your ancestors your family your bloodline you must represent there's nothing racist about us all of us should represent everybody but I gotta represent my people and I gotta let the world know that. And that's what she did today. Last night she wanted the world to know that she represented with her people. 
and I agree with that 100%. Uh, she said a few things that kind of throw me a little bit, lost me a little bit, but like I say, I will review that and get a better understanding before I come and say something about the situation. But uh, the family know he's been assassinated. Um, I'm not into the BET Awards, Uncle Tom show. I just feel like Nipsey going to a better place, but his body is dead, but the spirit is still roaming. The spirit will never die. You can kill the mind, the body, but you can't kill the spirit. And that's true. That's facts. So, you know, at the end of the day, to be your boy, that boy, 305, like I say, this came with another Nipsey Hit Hustle video, BET Experience Awards, whatever. But I call it, you know what I'm saying, Uncle Tom Awards. Uncle Tom BET. That's what it is to me. Uncle Tom BET. You feel me? Just using the BET, Black Entertainment. Why the Jews behind there making what they want to go and what not to say, what what to do. You understand what I'm saying? That's just crazy, man. But that's another story, like I say. Be your boy, that boy, 305. The joint for you, Nip. Rest up, man. I'm to a lot. Bless up, man. But the spirit is really, really roaming these streets right now. Boy, we feeling you all over the world. All over the world, man. Much love for you, man. Much love. We feel you. And, uh, you know, one day I know I'll see you, man. I'll see you. Marathon must get to your body.